fan. Hey guys, it's your girl Myshanna. Um, I am here to talk about BeautyCon. It was so amazing and it was a great experience and it was so much fun like meeting all types of different people with different styles and it was just versatile and just it was amazing and no one put anyone down it was just all positive energy and I'm appreciative for BeautyCon for putting something like this on and that's all I want to say about that <laughs> so let's go throughout our day um we got to the sh we got to the building at about I'm gonna say 1050 close to 11 to get in line now we got the pro pass which means it said that I'm sorry whew, we get in at 1130 so that's exactly what they did probably at like 1115 is when they start opening the doors and well let me see rewind that Probably 11.15 is when our lines start moving. So I think they start letting us in a little bit earlier than 11.30. Because by 11.50, we were in. And our line was pretty decent size. It was like a wrapped around the building. So, first of all, when you go in, um, if you're like facing frontward, over here was where the meet and greets were. Over here was the stage. The slide was behind you. The Ferris wheel was right here diagonal towards you there was another ride that you sit in you spin around you go up in the air don't know what that's called but that's what that was that was there the food trucks were in front there was a couple trucks over there in the corner i didn't find out what they were because the day was just too crazy and i didn't get over there but everything else was inside the reef like i never heard of the reef and it was in the cut and i was kind of sketchy i'm not gonna lie thrown off I was like hold on to your bags and your cell phones because something might go down anyway everything was inside inside the center and um it was very easy to get in I mean there's no problem no hassle like you walk in and in this in the right right hand corner was where you pick up your swag bag but the workers kind of like directed a lot of people upstairs they were like hey you can go upstairs get your bag up there so i'm like well shannon's like well i'm like oh i was like i don't know shannon's right here and shannon was like well they said let's go upstairs let's they said to go upstairs so let's go upstairs so we went upstairs maybe two flights not that bad but when we got there oh my gosh i was seeing stars there was like boots galore there was people galore it was like inflatable galore it's just like it was just like so much going on and it's just lovely we walked over there grabbed our bag it was kind of heavy so i peekabooed in it and there was like tons of stuff in there i was like well this was well worth the money like come on nah. and um from there we just kind of booth hopped well we only got through like the the middle three uh aisles because by the time that we kind of just made our way up and down to it was probably close to 1 30 ish about to probably going on two, and Shannon wanted to catch a panel so we walked outside not knowing that we couldn't get back in because of this sea of people that were there it was so many people and I didn't really expect that to like happen like that I really didn't and I don't think they did and like I looked over to the left and there was this buku long line to get into the building and I'm like Shannon we just left out of there and that's where all where all the panels were happening and we didn't know that I'm like dang it but that's okay because the meet and greets were outside and like the concert and everything else was outside so that wasn't no problem because we circled around made our way around and uh got to meet candy johnson like when i turned the corner and saw that red luscious hair i already knew that was my boo i was like oh my gosh so we stood in line for her and um <clears throat> the staff was coming around looking at people's bracelets and they tapped us and they were like well you guys know you can go to the front of the line you have guaranteed which we for totally forgot to ask how that worked um with the pro pack we had two guaranteed meet and greets 
So we had like a fast pass, kind of. So we jumped to the front of the line, took pictures with her, talked with her. She's such a sweetheart. What you guys see in the video is what you see and get in person. She's so positive and I love her for being her and doing her. And she doesn't let anyone tear her down. It's amazing. She's a great role model. I don't know if she sees herself as one like that, like that, like that, but she is one. Um, so yeah, after we did that, Shannon wanted to see Bethany Moto, if I'm saying her name right, if I'm not saying her name right, I'm so sorry, but I think you guys know who I'm talking about. She did like a little interview on stage and Shannon wanted to see that. By this time it was like about to go on three, so it was probably like 250, 240 around that close 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 because then I wanted to get in line for Manny and Patrick so I got in line for them and waited in an hour someone else was before them and she kind of ran into their time so they kind of came late and then they worked our line down I got four people away and then was told that they were about to leave you see this face? I was like, what are you talking about? I looked at the girl in front of me. I said, they're like, leaving, leaving? Like, for real? Like, leaving, leaving? And then she was like, yeah, they are. By this time, everyone kind of like pushed up so they can get like last minute pictures with them and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, that's enough for me. That I can just see them. Like, I'm not about to get crushed, okay? Number one, that, I just said that. I'm not about to get crushed trying to get a picture. Number two, I'm not about to have their security like push me out of the way telling me I'm in the way. So I just backed up and I was like, hey, whatever, it's cool. You know, I'll watch them on TV and I'll get to meet them sooner or later. Um, by this time, my calves hurt. I've been standing for a long time. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. So I head over to the food truck and I get um, a carnita burrito because I love me some pork. I ain't afraid to say it. I love me some pork. And, um, yeah, I ate. Shannon was there, but then she left to go to her meet and greet. And I just kind of sat there and finished my food. By this time, it's like 6.30. I look over at the line, and the line is like barely there. So now I know it's kind of like, you know, this is a good chance to see if we can try to get back inside, which we were able to. And um, it was just so many people, though. It was so hot in there. It was just ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's like the second time around. We just kind of went on the outskirts of everything and got some more free stuff, like lots. And when I say lots, I mean lots. Like, I got three bags of stuff just given and thrown our way. And it's just, it was, um, it was amazing. It was just a nice um, atmosphere where everyone's just accepting and everyone was giving out compliments. It was like, oh, you look good, your lipstick, your hair, your makeup, your outfit, your style, your blah. Everything was just a compliment. And I'm just like, oh, I love these people. I love them. So I want to say thank you to BeautyCon for putting on such a great um, event. And I don't understand, I mean, I can understand some people are kind of bashing it. Because I saw like a petition going around talking about I want my money back. Guys, like, come on. Give them a break. I did see, I did have two critiques. Like, I know you guys, I know it's starting, I know it's new, and stuff like that. But hopefully next year they'll get a bigger venue to have it at and they'll know that you know what to expect that way you know it's like everyone's not upset because i was talking to people online and they were upset because they couldn't get in because so many people blah 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 blah. so that was a big thing for me but i had like i said i had got in already i was just going back in to see what else i can do and you know because i got my bag so the second thing was um it would be helpful to have like a printout of like the agenda because I have T-Mobile. I'm gonna tell you now, T-Mobile sucks. I couldn't get service for what a beep out there. And it just sucked so bad because I couldn't pull up like 
the agendas and times for everyone. So, like, if you guys could have a printout, that would be amazing. Or not even if you don't have a printout, but, like, put it on, like, do, like, um, warped. Put a big inflatable thing out there and have everything just stuck on there, like, randomly. Choo -choo -choo. Velvet sticker things. Velvet. Velvet sticker things. Velcro. Velcro is what I'm trying to think of. Velcro. Um, but those are my only two critiques. Like, those are my only two things that I would say, like, to improve for next year. But other than that, I had a great time. Like, I, like I said, I talked to a few people in line, in some of the lines, and they were like, they didn't get their bag and stuff like that. They couldn't get in. But the thing is, like, also, you knew you had to be there a certain time. Like, you should get there when you were told to get there. I'm just saying. Because then maybe you would get your stuff. Hmm. Yeah, so um, I'm not going to go through everything that I got, but I will put a picture up and show you what I got, but I want to show you my, this bag, this is what, like, this is only even, this is half the stuff that we got, but this Beautycon LA bag is walk the chain, you see that, you see that she even got a matching mold like I do, okay, I didn't put it on today, but that's okay, but yeah, this, this, this along with like two other bags, just filled with stuff and like it was just I loved it I enjoyed it I can't wait till next year I will probably get the pro pass again because you know it was it was I believe it was worth my money so hopefully everyone else feels the same way kind of you know I hope no one bashes because that's not good mm. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon Deuces, we out. Did I fail to mention that I met Mac Daddy? We bought our tickets in like, I'm going to say April, either April or May, I can't remember, I'm going to say it was April, but um, we bought our tickets in April, I'm just too cute, I'm feeling this little stuck right here, mm.